Hey guys, in this quick Final Cut Pro tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a soft, dreamy look that looks like this. It's a useful effect to use if you're trying to make your footage look like it's part of a dream, or if you want to make a shot look a little bit more beautiful. This is also handy for shots of models, wedding videos, or just about anything really. So stick around and I'll show you how you can create this soft, dreamy effect. This is the shot we're going to use for today's tutorial. The first thing I want to do is duplicate this clip and I can do that by holding down Alt and dragging the clip on top of itself to create a copy. Next, I'll head over to my effects panel and I want to drag a Gaussian blur effect onto this top clip. I'll set the amount of blur to 100 and then I'll set the opacity of this clip to 50%. I'll boost the blur slightly so that we have this nice glow around the lights over here. Maybe a little bit more. We already have a pretty dreamy look going on right now, but I want to take this a step further. And the first thing I'm going to do to take it further is to add a shape mask. I'll invert the mask over here and then I'll make this round and kind of make it a little bit smaller. And the point of this is to just bring back the focus to this woman's eyes. So we don't want that to be entirely blurry. We just want to bring some focus to it and I'll increase the feather over here. You can see it changing here. Something like that'll do. If I show you the before, you can see how blurry her face is. And then with the mask applied, we bring some of that clarity back to her face. Now, obviously her face doesn't stay in the same part of the shot for the entire duration of the shot. So we'll need to track the shape mask. In order to do that, you can just drop down this transform section and put a keyframe on your position parameter. I like to be able to see my keyframes. So you can hit Control V to show your keyframes. Then I'll hit the up arrow to go to the beginning of the clip and I'll move this position right between her eyes again. And I'll hit the down arrow to go to the end of the clip, hit the left arrow to go one frame back, and then I'll move this position here in between her eyes again. Now a quick tip to get this mask tracked to her face a little bit faster, I'll just go between the two keyframes over here and I'll move that position back to between her eyes. You'll see it creates another keyframe here and what I can do is then go between these two keyframes and put the mask back between her eyes. I can keep doing this for the whole shot. Every time I move in between the two keyframes, I just readjust that position back to between her two eyes. And if I keep doing that, I don't have to keyframe frame by frame. I can kind of just get it pretty close without needing to be too accurate. I'll move this here. You probably have to do it a couple of times. You can scrub through to see how well it's tracking. And if you feel like it loses the track at any point, you could always just readjust it in that section. And I think that looks pretty good. Next, I want to enhance the way that this looks and I can do that by adding a color wheel adjustment. First, I'll boost these highlights here to make it a little bit brighter. I'll also maybe warm up the highlights slightly and maybe saturate them as well to get a real nice orange glow going on over here. To create a nice contrasting color, I'll take the shadows, I'll make them a little bit more blue and I'll darken them as well. Maybe I'll saturate them a little bit too. This is before we made any color adjustments and this is after. I'll just hide this video animation quickly by using the shortcut Control V. The last little adjustment I'm going to make is to just make sure that her eyes stay sharp. So in order to do that, I wanna first show you what the shape mask is doing. I'll hide this clip underneath using the shortcut V and you'll see that the shape mask is cutting out a black hole here where her face is. So basically anything that's in this area will show through from the clip below. So I'll just quickly search for my sharpen effect and I'll drag and drop that onto my clip. I'll probably boost that to around 3.5 and I'm not sure if you can see the difference here on YouTube. So let me zoom in. I'll go over here to her eyes and this is before any sharpening is applied and this is after. It's a subtle little change, but it just helps bring that attention to her eyes and keep the focus on her face. This is the shot before any adjustments. And this is the shot after we've created that nice, soft, dreamy look. As you can see, creating a soft, dreamy look is an easy effect to pull off in Final Cut Pro. And it's a useful technique to have in your arsenal of tricks. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you'd like to see more videos like this, then please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or suggestions on other tutorials that you'd like to see, then comment down below and maybe that's something I can do in the future. That's it for this video and I'll catch you in the next one.